Hi, welcome to Canis Bader Christmas on location. Tonight I want to talk about power. A few of you asked uh, how many AC outlets do you need, how much power does the whole display take. I've got about 4,000 pixels that I run, a little, little over, uh, like 4,021 or something, but uh, about 4,000 pixels that I run in the whole display and it's all run off one AC outlet. Now some of the stuff that I'm going to show you is a holdover from when I was running AC lights. Running AC lights, there's usually a lot more of them. They pull a lot more power, so it means thicker extension cords. And so I have those thick extension cords that I still use for the display, but it's not pulling near the amount of power. Right now, it looks like we're pulling about 7 amps, a little over. Uh, it averages between 5 and 6, sometimes uh, goes up a little bit, you know, it just depends on what is on the display at the time. And this is the wattage output, so 300, uh, there's not a whole lot going on right now. That'll jump up to averages around 500 to 600. Uh, I've seen it peak a little over 800, but you know, that's really not that big of a deal as far as the capability of a standard outlet. I'm monitoring this with a, a kilowatt meter and also a Wemo Insight switch that I'll talk about more in just a minute. That outlet feeds this power strip. This is the thinnest wire at the head of this. It's not hot at all. Um, and so that feeds this power strip. It feeds the F16 V2, this power supply, and this network switch. This one feeds most of the display. This is a 14 gauge extension cord and it, it snakes throughout the display. You may not need something that thick. I just got this when I was running AC lights. So here's the cable going across the driveway. There's a little lip that goes uh, into the garage, so that gives it some protection when we're pulling the cars in and out of the garage. And then there's the network cable that goes along with it. And then I just have it duct taped down about every three or four feet. And then I have two 10 foot extension cords that have outlets about every three feet. Each one has a cover, very heavy duty cable again. And then a standard extension cord will feed a box with a, a power supply and a differential receiver. And then to turn it on and off, I've got one of these Wemo Insight switches. These switches are controllable by a phone. There is a Wemo app that you can use to control these things. There's not much in the box, just the switch itself and some instructions. When you plug it in, it uh, tries to connect with your network. You go into the app, you, you tie it to your wireless network. You can also turn it on and off with the switch on the top. This is the Wemo app itself, so all you need is a phone and this, this Wemo app, and then you can set up a schedule the reason I use this switch is because it tells me how much power is being drawn through the device itself. Uh, right now it's about 500 watts or so. Uh, it's also, you can set up a schedule on in the app and you can, you know, turn your lights on and off per schedule. Now this is kind of extra credit here. If you have a home automation system set up called, uh, I use Home Assistant. Um, you can do some kind of neat things. You can control these switches with the home automation system uh, and you can, with Home Assistant, you can create these custom cards. So uh, Falcon Player has added MQTT messages uh, and so, for example, I can take a look at this card. I can say, see that Falcon Player is playing. It's playing the playlist Thump and it's playing Santa Claus is Coming to Town. I can see that the Christmas lights are on and that they're drawing about 422 watts. Again, this is something you do not need, but if you have this already set up, it will integrate into your home automation system. It's kind of a neat deal. The nice thing about Home Assistant is it will give you a graph of this 
uh, power draw that the that the insight switch saw. So we start out, it, it rises up to about 235. Uh, that's without any lights on. It's just all the power supplies and the the inflatables that are running. Uh, then it, you can see that it kind of averages between five and six hundred. There are some peaks up to eight hundred. So really this just gives you a visual indication of how much power was drawn while the display was on. If you are interested in these switches, they get them on Amazon. I've got it linked on my affiliate page. They do have a couple of different switches. This one will report the power draw. They have some cheaper switches that just turn things on and off. You can still automate those with the Wemo app or with a home automation system. Of course, you could also just purchase a timer from your home improvement store for about $4, or you could even just do this. Any of those work just fine, but it's not near as cool as this. Okay, so going forward, I do want to get a couple of the sequences uh, videoed and, and up on YouTube. I'm in the process of filming that now. They're going to be very similar to last year's, so if you want to see what it looks like, you can go back to last year's. It'll be the same songs because I know they're safe. And I didn't add any new songs this year, just didn't have enough time to do that. I am tweaking the sequences a little bit, so that's why it's taking a little bit longer to get those out. And one of the props is bothering me from an OCD perspective. It's not standing up the way I would like it to. So I may build a frame for that. And if I do, I'll include it in a video, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to actually make that change while the display is running. We'll see. It depends on if I have enough time. I hope your displays are working wonderfully if they're set up, if you're still setting up. Don't worry about it. You got plenty of time and I hope that goes well for you. If you are new to this, please take advantage of the forums and Facebook groups. There's a lot of people out there that have gone before you and can answer your questions. I'm getting a lot of questions and I don't mind answering them, but I don't want you waiting on me for an answer if uh, I get caught up doing something else and which usually happens about this time of year. So um, take advantage of those resources. But if you have any questions for me, you can leave them below and I will get to them. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Game.